in 1992, Gary Chapman published his book on the five love languages, which is a theory that he came up with as a counselor to couples in his role as a pastor. Now his theory has three primary tenets to it, which I'm gonna to talk to you about, and they've all been debunked through various research efforts. Now what's important to note about the five love languages theory is that it's not really a theory. It's not based in any sort of science. It's really from observations that he made that he's got taken no part in trying to validate on his own. And even though he has a PhD, his PhD is not in a field that would be relevant to these assessments that he's making. His first claim is that people have one primary and one secondary love language or a way in which they prefer to give and receive love. These five love languages, as you may know, include words of affirmation, acts of service, gift giving, quality time, and physical touch. His second claim is that people tend to give love in the way in which they would like to receive love. So if their preferred love language is physical touch, then they're more likely to show their affection for you by providing you with physical touch. So he claims that you can just identify the way in which your partner would like to receive love by observing the way in which they show you love themselves. His third and final claim is that if you understand and speak your partner's love language more, you'll have a more satisfying relationship. There was some research that was conducted in 2013 by Polk and Egbert that found that people do not have a primary and secondary love language, that there is no evidence that people value one of these five components more than the others. And in fact, people tend to rate their desire to receive these different kinds of love like as all being pretty important. And there's also no evidence that when a person scores highly on these measures of their love language preferences, that they're more likely to express their love in the same fashion. So his second claim was also debunked in the same study. And finally, there was a study conducted by Bunt and Hazelwood in 2017 that found that there is no association between speaking your partner's love language and having more satisfying outcomes in your relationships. So essentially, Gary Chapman did no work to validate that the five love languages was a thing that actually mattered to people and that it was something that actually impacted your relationship in a positive way. And yet he went out and he published a book that made all of these claims that are just patently false when it comes down to it. And so when other researchers did the work that he didn't do, his five love languages theory didn't hold up.